Stampers. My name is Linda Bedinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm so glad you could join me this afternoon. Um, I recently, I'm newly back from the Stampin' Up! convention in Las Vegas. Uh, that's the place that I went and it was so much fun. Uh, I had the opportunity to meet a few of my subscribers. That was wonderful. Um, we had a, a little chat, some of them very brief, uh, because there was lots of swapping to get done and we didn't generally have a lot of time to do it, um, but it was very, very exciting and fun for me to meet some of you that had been watching some of my videos. And so thank you so much for your support and it was lovely to meet several of you. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to show you first my swapped cards. So let's just get started. So I haven't looked through these really carefully yet myself, so this is fun for me. Um, I got this beautiful swap by Lori Wilcox out of, I'm having trouble reading it. Oh, um, Kekwitam? in British Columbia. <laughs> so thank you, Lori. Isn't that just pretty using that crackle stamp in the back? It's a very simple card, but the sponging on this just makes it very memorable. She's used the subtle folder on the, on the card here and some rhinestones and a simple thanks message. And that is lovely. Creative Stampin' with Lori. That's fun. Thank you, Lori. So uh, this one is beautiful using the, um, the tiles, uh, the mosaic stamp set, and then that pretty star with a smile on it. That's lovely. This one was done by Susan Murphy, and she's in Maple Grove, Minnesota. Beautiful card. Thank you, Susan. It's lovely. All right, this one isn't that sweet. Just as cute as it can be. Simple and yet very, very nice. Oh, this is one of those with a no name on it. Let's see if there's anything on the inside of the card. Nope, there's just nothing. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Can't give people proper credit. <laughs> so I'm going to continue to go through these. You know, there's one with that Andirondock chair and these leaves down the side. You make me smile. Just lovely. And that looks like that's the negative space on the white where they punched out this piece. Uh, Stamp Ventures by Shauna Mikuliak. And, um, and really very pretty. Thank you, Shauna. Very nice card. This one is just beautiful. Of course, I love this paper. Your friendship means the world to me and looks simply just backed in a couple of different layers and absolutely gorgeous. And uh, in Mary Merlot and black. Gosh, that's gorgeous. Stampin', stamp with Tracy at stampinup.net. It doesn't give me much more of Tracy's information. Thank you, Tracy. That's just a lovely card. This one was interesting with the, uh, the medallion here and this lovely tree. Now, I've, I've, I've uh, punched that one out in black and was thinking about doing that over my sprinkle uh, papers, and I have yet to do that video. It says, Hi, friend. And it's create with Babs, create with Babs at Babs, W-S at AOL.com. So I don't know where she's from or any of the rest of it, but she sponged on this bricks embossing pattern and it's gorgeous. This one, I remember talking to this lady. And it's a beautiful thank you with simple uh, little twine on it. And let's see. If she put anything on the inside, I'll just take a quick peek. I've got to learn to ask people. Nope, there's nothing inside. Oh, what a shame. I remember her because she had two versions of this card. 
and um, I loved both of them. They were just lovely. Thank you very much. All right, isn't that cute? The walrus there with a bird on top. Uh, Karen Kramer, Kramer, K-R-A-M-M-E-R, -E Karen Landau Kramer uh, at Facebook. Isn't that pretty? Just a great fun card. Very nice. Thank you, Karen. This one with one of my favorite snowman characters on it. Let it snow in some darker colors. That looks like that's actually the buffalo check uh, on that red in kind of a gray. And this one was Debbie Patrick. Thank you, Debbie. Just a lovely little card. Okay, this one is, oh, look at that, using that um, Christmas gleaming paper. And she put some of the paper and then the deck the halls on here and then stamped with that same stamp set, that beautiful holly sprig in the back. Beautiful. Tara Jeffries. And Tara is from Fergus Falls, Minnesota. Thank you. Tara, that's just a lovely card. Very pretty. I like that treatment. It's done with a stitched rectangle um, die here so that we get a look at all of the, or many of the paper. So that's my first stack. Isn't that pretty? With the two trees on either side and the moose in the middle, some silver paper, giant Christmas greeting, just gorgeous. And this one was, I thought so, this was done by... M.J. Owens, and M.J. is on my team, and there's a picture of her right there. She is the Southwest Stamper uh, on YouTube, and then she's got um, uh, a Facebook page called Southwest Stamper. I know that one, and she is from Las Lunas, New Mexico. Isn't that fun? I love this card. Good job, MJ. All right. This one has this beautiful paper, this cute little guy here. This was done by Joni Daniel, and Joni's in 29 Palms, California. Fun. Thank you, Joni. This one is fun. It's your day. It's the stamping of these tulips and some of that paper. And then right down the sides, I don't know if you can see it, is some of that pretty uh, lace trim. Gorgeous. Very nice. This was done by Jane Johnson and Dexter, Minnesota. I just got a cute email. Smudges dot Darcy, Darcy Jane at gmail.com. <laughs> Fun. Fun. It's your day. Very nice card. Now this one is got these little critters on it and this is punched out and then punched out again and then the critter is way deep on the inside of this. Very fun. And happy birthday with some of this beautiful paper. And let's see. Pressed petals paper, right. Julie Brown from Farmington, New Mexico. Well, isn't that just the cutest card? Thank you, Julie. Here's one, You Made My Day, and it's, uh, it's how simple is that, and yet it's very striking. This embossing folder of the bricks, a piece of, it looks like back Blackberry Bliss, and then three pieces of this DSP across here. This was done by Mary, I'm not going to, uh, Hagen, H-A-U-G-E-N. Mary is, it doesn't say where she's from, it says Center Stage Stamping. That's lovely. Very nice little card. This one is, I think, also from one of my teammates. Nope, it's not. <laughs> one of my teammates did one that was similar to this, I think. Karen Shevikoven. S-C-H-E-V-I-K-H-O-V-E-N. And she's here in Denver. Oh, isn't that fun? Very Versailles stamp set. And she's from Denver, Colorado. Karen Shevikoven. Well, I'll have to uh, see if I can connect. That's great. Thank you very much. It's 
it's kind of fun to find people like Karen from my own home city here. Isn't that pretty season of thanks? Some of that pretty designer series paper from the Gather Together. Crackle background. An embossed folder that's looks like it's got maybe some gold paint on it. Beautiful. And this is, of course, one of my team members, Lori Lugauer. And Lori is, uh, goes by Lolly Ann, L-O-L-I-A-N-N, at Gmail. Lori Lugauer out of Chandler, Arizona. Isn't that pretty? Good job, Lori. Beautiful card. Just beautiful. I love the copper accents, and I'll bet that's copper paint on that uh that embossing folder that looks like um, ceiling tiles. Very, very, very pretty. Okay, onward. This one is Hope You're Back on Your Feet Soon. I just love this little critter. Isn't that cute? And this one was a card from Susan Leggetts, L-E-G-I-T-S, or Leggetts, uh, A-B-Q Stamper at Comcast. And there's a telephone number there. Doesn't say where she's from, but Susan, I'm gonna. I, I think it might be Leggett's, L-E-G-I-T-S. Very nice. Thank you, Susan. Okay, here's one, and this is fun. This one. Oh, look at this. It opens a couple, and this one is a gift card holder. Isn't that clever? So this piece just picks up here, and it's got this little tag on it something for you and then inside is the place for you to put your gift card or some money or a check or something like that isn't that cute i love this design very very cute and of course it doesn't say unless it says on the back of this nope doesn't say who did it oh i'd love to give somebody credit for that that's a really cute one very nice thank you this one says, wishing you a happy birthday, and it's got some of this beautiful paper on it and some of the Rococo Rose uh, paper and ribbon. And again, this one doesn't have anything on it. And I have two of them. Why do I have two of them? One going one way and one going the other. I don't remember. But I must have swapped with this lady twice or they stuck together. I don't know. This one is a crafting one, and it goes this way. And this card sits on top, and it says, Let's stay up late and craft. Isn't that cute with some twine wrapped around that piece? And then these spools of ribbon, follow your art. Very nice. This one was done by Sheila Van Udert. E, I'm sorry, U-I-T-E-R-T. And it doesn't say where she's from. It's got an 801 area code. Okay. But just as cute as anything. I love that. Let's stay up and craft all night. <laughs> cute. Oh, isn't that pretty? With the blossoms coming down either way. And then life is a beautiful thing. And the Andiron Deck chair. Lovely. Linda Coleman out of Provo, Utah. Beautiful card. Simple, but very elegant. I like that a lot. Really, really pretty. This one was fun. This one is someone, um, let's see, what's her name? Kayleen Clements, and she's out of Bakersfield, California, and when she swapped with me, I looked down at that card and recognized this as a card that I had put out on YouTube. And so uh, I, I picked up my badge and showed her my name. And it was so much fun because she got real excited and gave me a nice, great big hug. <laughs> and so it was great fun to meet somebody that not only watches my videos, but cased a card and then felt strongly enough about it. She used it for her swap. So I'm, I'm thrilled. It's, it's such a, such a confirming uh, compliment from someone. Thank you so much, Kayleen Clements out of Bakersfield, California. Great fun for me. Thank you very much. 
All right, this one is a beautiful card with these copper elements and this beautiful stamp set. This stamp set is Nature's Beauty, Merry Moose, and Itty Bitty Christmas to get all of the pieces done on this. And then it's using the 12 paint, the 12 paper. And oh, she's got all of the all of the material on the back here for putting this together. I hope it's got her name on it someplace. Let me pull this out and see what it says on the inside. Isn't that gorgeous? And then this is actually a gift holder. Wow! Somebody put a ton of work into this. And then with all of that, she put the instructions and did all of that. And in all of that, I still don't have her name. Oh my gosh. What a shame not to be able to give somebody credit for this beautiful, beautiful card. With some, somebody put a ton of work into that. It's got nested frames. It's got the tall paper. It's got embellishments. Oh, such hard work. Oh, I'm so sorry. I can't give somebody credit. If this is your card or you know who did it, please let me know. This is just oh, so, so beautiful and so much detail and then not the name of the person who did it. Well, I've got one more in this stack and that's this card front using the swirls and curls uh, embossing folder and some of the glimmer paper and the pink. Happy Valentine's Day and some hearts. Isn't that pretty? Sarah Smith and it doesn't say where Sarah is, but I'm so glad to be able to give Sarah some credit for that. It's got some of this pretty lace at the top. Uh, this looks like very vanilla and then some other pink cardstock below. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Thank you so much. So I'm on to my next stack. This one is Heartfelt Sympathy using that beautiful paper and some Granny Apple Green. It's gorgeous. Christy Lindbergh from Waynesville, Missouri. And it says everything that she used here to make the, um, make the card. And then, uh, thank God she put her name on it. <laughs> uh, beautiful card with this pretty background. See, that's some of that DSP that she just stamped on. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful, beautiful card. Thank you very much, Christy. Now here's one where they've colored in the magnolia in the petal pink. Isn't that pretty? I'm very fond of the magnolias colored in. I did the one purple one that was kind of a a fun one to do and that one was on the on YouTube no not YouTube that one was on Pinterest without any information it looks like this one has a card on the inside but no name oh such a pretty card and it looks like she put the whole card through the embossing folder so both the front of the card and the back of the card has that Subtles embossing folder detail on it. Very pretty. I'm so sorry, I can't give somebody credit. Uh, this one is Susan Leggett's. Oh, I remember Susan now because she had different cards and she wanted to trade for one each of the cards that I took. So that was kind of fun. And she used the Dino Roar here. Your awesome Susan Leggett's. ABQ Stamper. Very nice. Thank you, Susan. Now this one is that technique where you, and this might be designer series paper, so it's just cut out with cardstock and the um, layering dies, and then you just hold the pattern together and you put the, um, the cardstock behind it, and it, it builds up and gives you you can see the continuation of the pattern on each of the papers. Isn't that pretty? This one was done by Patricia Hurley. There's just a little note on the back that says Patricia Hurley. 
Very nice. Thank you, Patricia. Beautiful card. Nicely done. Oh, look at this. That's fun. This one says, thank you, and it's got daisies, and it's got fall leaves here, and other detail that's all been die cut, so there's a lot of punching, a lot of die cutting, a lot of stamping. Somebody put some real work into this one. Pat Smith out of Midland, Texas. Thank you, Pat. That's just gorgeous. Beautifully done. I love the clusters like this of the flowers because it reminds me of real bouquets. <laughs> this one says, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. And it has the star pattern on the card face in the same or with Versamark. I can't tell. And then uh, this and then a strip of the sparkle paper. Sue Lookman. L-O-O-K-M-A-N. Very nice, Sue. Thank you. All right, here's a pretty one. This is done with that beautiful friendship stamp where she used some lighter blue and darker blue. I wonder how she did that. She must have masked. And then cut the heart out that stitched and then a scalloped heart behind it. A very big congratulations and best wishes to you. What a wonderful use of that stamp set. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. And then some of this shimmer ribbon. I might have to give that one a try. Very pretty card. On stage swap, Katrina Hall out of California. So she used um, Seaside Spray, Pretty Peacock. I'll have to open it up to see the rest. Pear Pizzazz, maybe. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. Cased from Linda Dalkey. What a wonderful concept. Love it. Love it. Thank you so much, Katrina. Beautiful card. This one is gorgeous with all of the sponging behind here and this beautiful little animal. Thinking of you with loving thoughts and prayers. Isn't that sweet? That is just gorgeous. Bev Adams out of Camarillo, California. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much, Bev. This is a beautiful card. Now, isn't this one fun? Using some of the papers and the DSP and putting little color blocks down and then the snowman cut out a sparkle paper with the mitts and the hat. Just as cute as it can be. Pampered Stamping. Pam Sklofsky. S-K-L-O-F-S-K-Y. Pampered Stamping. Very cute. Cute little card. Very nice. Thank you so much, Pam. Okay. I think I'm done with that stack. And this one I just love. Isn't that gorgeous? That's one of the prettiest treatments of this cardinal that I've seen. And she went ahead and colored it all in, in probably on her blends, in the dark colors. Just beautiful. Janet Poole, out of McKinney, Texas. Janet, that is just a lovely card. May your days be merry and bright, simple and yet very striking. Just beautiful. She put a rhinestone in there and colored it for his eye. <laughs> Here's one of those Dino Roar. I love you this much. Isn't that cute? It's more than it looks like. <laughs> cute. Pretty papers. Hammered metal. A little bit of silver thread. And isn't that nice? Carl Bread Tower. Bread, bread Tower. Yeah. B-R-E-D-T-H-A-U-E-R. It's one of the few guys, and I remember this guy trading with him on the floor because he was one of the few men demonstrators at OnStage. So that was fun. Very good. Thank you, Carl. This one is that beautiful tree stamp, which I have not yet used, out of the Mosaic Suite, and it just says, Be Happy. Isn't that pretty? with this other mosaic tile behind it, and then it looks like some soft suede. Beautiful, beautiful card. Um, Kate Amberg 
A-M-B-E-R-J. And Kate lives right there in Las Vegas where the convention is. I always thought that would be so much fun to have the convention in your home city. And then you could um, uh, be there for everything. That's wonderful. Very, very nice. Thank you, Kate. It's just simple and very pretty. Very nice. This one says, Happy Valentine's Day. Has some of that um, from the rose, Christmas rose a, a suite. This is some of the paper. And I see a piece of vellum and some gold and then the white and then the heart and some uh, gold dots on this. It's beautiful. Lori Service, S-E-R-V-I-S. Scraps by Sissy. I love it. <laughs> Very pretty card. Thank you so much, Laurie. And this one is very pretty as well. This is that, and I can't think of the name of it. Maybe it's on here. No. Janie Schuler, Schooler, S-C-H-U-L-E-R. Janie. And that's a lovely card. There's a lot going on there. We've got the striped DSP. We've got the hammered metal embossed piece. We've got some of that pretty green and white ribbon. We've got this die set that cuts out the frame. Then we've got another piece here and some stamping and some rhinestones. Wow, beautiful card. Very, very nice, Janie. Thank you very much. Oh, isn't this pretty? I love this technique. This is where you put the ink on the inside of the embossing folder and then you stamp and the white goes through and you get the ink in the back. Comfort and healing to you. Isn't that pretty in blues and white? Sometimes the simplest color schemes are absolutely the best. It's just gorgeous. Barbara Gregg. And it does say where she's from, but that's just a beautiful card, Barbara. Thank you very much. Okay, this one is just got this cute little lady on here. And she's got a rolling suitcase. Wishing you everything wonderful. And she made her own DSP. And there's two embossing folders. This is the subtles back here. And then this tag or this nested um, frame here is been embossed then in the tufted. Isn't that cute? Very, very pretty. And this one is by Ann Corley. C-O-R-L-E-Y from Manrovia, California. And so it gives here about all of the stamps and blends and folders and everything she used. Uh, it's simple. It's beautiful. There is a lot of work in that card. So thank you, Anne, so much. It's a lovely swap because there's coloring done. There's two kinds of embossing done. There's handmade paper done die cutting done. My goodness, that's a lot of work. It's beautiful. Okay, this one is just as cute as it can be, and it says sip sip. <laughs> this is a fun one for the holidays. This would make a great New Year's card too. Let's see. Oh, this one doesn't have anything, so I'm going to see if I can open it. Maybe there's something inside that will tell us who made this fun card. Ooh, not much crinkling. That's good. Oh, no, it doesn't have anything in it. So sad. It's just as cute as it can be, and I might case that for a New Year's card. Oftentimes, we get together with friends for New Year's, and one of the things I'll do is give a card to the host thanking them for hosting us and then take a couple of the cards that I've made and give them as a hostess gift. Uh, but this would be great fun for a New Year's card. That would be... Great fun. I wish I could give somebody credit for it. Here's one of these beautiful cards made using the Christmas rose. Gosh, I'm fond of this stuff. And this looks like it was done on our shimmer paper. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. And then run through the, uh, uh, the Settles embossing folder. And then this die cut frame. Mm, gorgeous. This one was by Shauna here we go, McCuliac again. So I must have swapped with her a couple of times. And the other card wasn't like this. It was something different. That's beautiful, Shauna. Gorgeous card. Love it. This one 
says friend and it's got a scallop die cut the daisy and then it's embossed in the um, pine pl pine planks oh this is another one that doesn't have anything on it maybe there'll be something inside always makes me nervous when I don't see something on the outside let me see if there's something inside no gosh I have to pay more attention when I'm doing the swapping because if they don't have it on there I, I should carry a pen and make them right down on the back of the card who they are and where it came from I love giving people credit for what they've done this one says I am thankful for you and it's simple and yet very pretty oh this is Bonnie Bonnie Montano um, as one of the folks in my Denver demo group and isn't that pretty it's striking black and gold must be crushed curry the stamp the leaves put out this is embossed in the in the uh, leaf folder very nice Bonnie lovely I, I love the simple color scheme of that that's gorgeous let's see this one was done with that gorgeous very Versailles with these leaves and just has a simple thank you and oh look at this isn't this sweet with the ribbon down the side gorgeous and then she stamped some in here she put some stamping up in the top oh oh no and no indication oh my gosh and there's a lot of work into this lots of stamping on the card on the focal piece on the inside of the card it's just lovely and then no indication mm, breaks my heart okay uh, this one says deck the halls it's the hammered metal and some of that beautiful noble peacock dsp and the um no that's not noble peacock or maybe it is nope i don't think so it's part of the gleaming christmas gleaming and then this ornament with a little bit of the copper embellishment on here and no indication ah oh, but that's gorgeous very very pretty striking there's this one that has do something creative every day and it's got those punched flowers on the front here and some of that floral essence paper on pink with a great big circle here to anchor this thing and some leaves beautiful done crafting forever in floral essence tanisha ayote uh, a-y-o-t-t-e and i believe that might be pronounced ayote tanisha sherwood parks sherwood park Alberta Canada lovely job lovely lovely job beautiful Tanisha thank you okay so this one we've already seen that just jumped off the other pile so this one is using a stamp set that I can never make up my mind if I really want and yet this is absolutely gorgeous how simple is that and yet it's very striking nicely done Shauna Sindic C-I-N-D-I-C-K Shauna Wright at AOL.com Sul it looks like Sul S-U-L Utah at least we got our name on there thank you Shauna it's a beautiful card I love this focal piece isn't that gorgeous oh i might have to get that stamp set <laughs> this one is pretty this one is using that pressed petals paper some die cuts and then the parcels and petals in here with centers and dots and a little bit of the twine ah beautifully done this one is rachel d-u-r-t-s-c-h-i dirty dirty or dirty perhaps and it doesn't say where she's from but thank you Rachel that's absolutely gorgeous what a wonderful wonderful card mm, pretty 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 okay so this one is sending well wishes your way with some of the paper from the silhouette and some 
the front of this is embossed in the subtles pattern. And, oh no, don't tell me this is another one without anything on it. Let me just see quickly if there's something on the inside. Nope, because it's just a card front. Okay, so it's very striking, very pretty, and I don't know who to give credit for. <laughs> this one is, isn't that cute? Cow's it going? These are, these are stamped and cut out, maybe fussy cut, I don't know. And then one of them is popped up, subtles paper on here. And then on the back, oh, isn't that cute? It's got this cute little raccoon. Rachel Kuhn, San Pedro, California. Isn't that fun? Thank you, Rachel. It's kind of, it's very cute. A very cute little card. How's it going? <laughs> this one is, might be my last actual card. And this one says, Let It Snow. And it's got this lovely snowman on it. He's one of my favorites. I just love it. Diane Garvin. Uh... And it doesn't say where Diane is from, but it's a lovely, cheery, cheery um, Christmas card. Love it. Thank you very much, Diane. So that is it on the um, cards. So now I'm going to start on my 3Ds. This is the first one. Let me show you this. This bag. There's my notes from convention still in there in my pens. This bag was given to me by Kathy Cows. And Kathy's in my Denver demo group. And you have to know Kathy to, to understand. But here she's got this piece done where she's made these little notebooks. And she put a cover in here that says November 2019 on stage. And so for those of us that were there, these pieces can be taken out and put any place in your little book. And there is some 3 by 5 cards that um, can be peeled off in here. And there's a whole notebook full of them. And no doubt, uh, Kathy put a lot of time and effort into this. She's just amazing. Um, she goes all out and she does... I don't know how many organized swaps when there she's there. I know she takes a ton of cards with her, um, way more than I do. And here is a trail mix and a Kleenex and a cliff bar. This is our Kathy and a pen and some flags. <laughs> And some M&Ms and a Mentos lip balm and some Snickers and a Twix bar and then she had these cute little tags for everybody at our table and they're a little belly band and it says for you and there is a sand, hand sanitizing wipe attached on the inside of that with a little piggy and um, she had these and she handed them out to everybody that we sat with and all kinds of folks. And there's lifesavers and Tic Tacs. And that's Kathy. It's just wonderful. She spends a lot of time on the things that she gives us. And, and she goes way out there <laughs> and puts so much stuff in her thing. Um, in her little, and she brought these, this wasn't a 3D that she gave to everybody, but she brought them for those of us that came from Denver. And in here, she makes these little tags, they're shrinky dinks, and this one has got a butterfly that's been colored, and then uh, it has a little, uh, a little clasp and a, a little charm. And I always take these off and I put them on my purse she gave me one last year that says, I, and then it has a heart, and it says, I love SU, stamping up. 
and I put that on my purse and I'm starting to collect these from Kathy. They're just darling. I will get that off and get it put someplace prominently. Thank you, Kathy, very, very much. You're a wonderful friend to have as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Okay, this was also from one of the Denver demonstrators. Isn't that pretty? This little bag with the Believe on the front here. And I think we've got that in a couple of stamp sets. And she's got all kinds of little treats in here. There's Milk Duds and all kinds of Hershey's and candy and Milky Way and Candy Crunch. And these gals know me. Go ahead, give me a little bit of chocolate. <laughs> And this one had a Sacagawea gold dollar in it. Isn't that fun? So there's all kinds of, and this has got a shrinky dink on it as well. And this one says Stampin' Up! on one side and has a pair of scissors. And on the other side, it's like a little apron. And it says Paper Pumpkin. Isn't that cute? Just as cute as it can be. And these gals just put so much work into this stuff for everybody that goes. It's just amazing to me. Just lovely. All right. So um, let's see. This one was a trade that I got. It says enjoy. And I'm surprised it made it home in as good a shape. I was trying to put it away very carefully so it would get here. And it's got um, some pine boughs on it done with this pretty plaid paper. And I can hear something inside. Undoubtedly there's Oh, chocolate kisses inside. Well, I'm surprised most of this chocolate made it home uneaten. This one is a little um, Christmas ornament, and it says Merry Little Christmas on it, stamped. And it's got um, a Christmas tree stamped on like crumb cake and then raised on dimensionals. And then it's got the buffalo check print on this piece of cork. And then this piece, this um, eye is put down in the middle, and it's a little Christmas ornament. Isn't that just the sweetest thing? Very, very cute. Okay, this one, and there's no name on it, of course. I remember getting this from the gal, uh, and she had a basket full of them. And so I took one, but it I didn't realize at the time it didn't have a name on it. This is the same thing. This is just one of those little treat boxes, and it's got some trail mix in here, and a beautiful butterfly on the top here. That might be a shrinky dink, I'm not sure. And then a littler butterfly, or maybe it's just a regular uh, paper one, um, but it has no name on it. So um, again, very pretty, and I will eat it up at some point. <laughs> This one is just as cute as it can be. It's those Hershey Nuggets, and it, she's turned it into a snowman. So they're wrapped in white, and he's got a scarf and a hat on, nose, eyes, and then buttons down the front, and then some arms on the inside in a little box. Isn't that cute? This one says, Wayne Jane Johnson. Jane Johnson. Isn't that just the cutest thing? Very, very fun. Thank you, Jane. Okay, this little item here is, oh, look at that. When you open it up, I think it's supposed to open from the top, and then this piece pulls out, and it's a little sewing kit. It's got the buttons and the safety pin and the threader and some little threads in it. Isn't that cute? Very clever, very clever. And let's see, I'm gonna look at this. Nope, there's no indication on it. Clever idea though, very clever. Okay, onward to this one. And this is another one that has no name on it. And I remember getting this from the gal and it's got the cow on it. It's got a barn door stamped on the red here. And then in crumb cake, and then it's got these cow tails, caramel with creamy centers. And isn't that cute with the cows? Very, very cute, but doesn't say who it came from. This one, oh, this one was fun. Shana 
and let's see if I can, she, she gave us her name. Yes, Shauna, pardon me, Shauna McCulliac. That's why I have so many things from Shauna McCulliac, is she was one of my table mates. And she had these for people at our table. And she is a Stampin' Up! demonstrator out of Moose Jaw, Canada. So she loved the moose character. And then inside, she said it was something from Canada. Tim Horton Apple Cinnamon Palmet Canal. But it was something from her town in Moose Jaw, Canada. Isn't that fun? Coffee Crisp. And then these Apple Cinnamon Treats. Oh, it's tea. Apple Cinnamon Tea. Well, that's fun. I love tea. Okay, so this was from, and she said I wanted to make sure that people got something from me that really was from Moose Jaw. And so she loved the idea that the moose was there. And so this was with Shauna. Shauna was a very fun table mate, and she had met my friend Kathy Howes years ago at a Stampin' Up! convention. And this is what can happen to you. They're friends today, and they find each other at these conventions. And Shauna was uh, recognized at the Stampin' Up! convention. She just passed her $300,000 in sales. I think that is awesome. Very nice. Thank you, Shauna. Now I remember why I have so many things from Shauna. We, we traded a lot of things. Isn't that cute? Express your elf. <laughs> Just as cute as it can be. And then there's some treats in here. Yeah, some Welch's candy and a candy cane and a mint. Oh, what yum. Brenda McBride from Guthrie, Oklahoma. Thank you so much, Brenda. Isn't that just the cutest thing? Very nice. Thank you, Brenda. Okay, this one. Thinking of you this season. And this looks to be about a 4 by 4 inch square. And Knight of Navy, gold, and then the plaid. And this big, beautiful Christmas tree and the moose stamped on here, and he's colored in. And it looks like it's set up like a little bag. And this is done by Chris Ronken, R-O-N-K-E-N. And I remember getting this from her, and she pointed out that this one is set up on the inside. Yeah, so that it opens up. And I think she was saying that this was set up, this would hold uh, a card, like a gift card. And I think that's so cute, set up like a little bag. Very, very cute. Thank you, Chris. That's lovely. Now this one is, let's see. Oh, I see. This comes out of here, and it's a chocolate, a hot chocolate mix, and it doesn't, I remember talking to this woman and uh, getting this from her, and I now realize that it didn't say who it was from, but what a cute idea for tea or for coffee or for hot chocolate, just a cute little, little bag. Thank you. Okay. Now this one opens up like an old matchbook. 2019 on stage. And it's got a little bottle of ink here. And it's got some of that pretty paper from um, Floral Essence. And look at that. Isn't that cute? So these are just little flags. And I don't know about you, but I love these things in the office. But isn't that cute? Very clever. Handmade by Darlene Johnson. Thank you, Darlene. That's just very clever. Very cute little, little thing. Now this one comes out of the package here. Let me see if I can get this one out of the package. Oh, I see she stapled it. And 
she used the heirloom frame and then just cut a bigger oval out of something to put it behind Be Jolly this season and colored in a couple of the pieces of holly. And on the back, it says to and from. So this is actually a gift tag. Isn't that cute and clever? Very nice. Oh, but it doesn't have who it's from on it. Uh, but what a clever idea. She just punched a hole and put some twine in there. And you can attach that to your gift. Very nice. This one is a calendar. And I am going to take this out of here. This one was from someone from Canada. Oh dear, I think I'm going to take it out of here. I might actually have to take the scissors to this one. There we go. All right, let's pull this out. This was made by Carolyn Brownlee from England. Isn't that fun? So we had someone here from England. It would have almost been easier for her to go to Germany than come here. My goodness. It's wonderful that she did. As we were able to get this. And this is a stand on your desk. This one stands up. And then it has the calendar pages that you can tear off throughout the year for a 2020. Isn't that cute? Very nice. Well, it's going to get a prominent place on my desk with her paper on the back. So it'll remind me that she sent me this beautiful thing. Thank you, Carolyn. I really appreciate that. And so glad you could join us from England. How exciting is that? We have someone that came all that way to come to Las Vegas and join us for our on stage. Thanks again. It's just beautiful. Okay, this was another one that I got. This might be the end of the three Ds. Uh, it says, "Hey there, pumpkin," and it's got a Snickers bar in here, and this stands. Isn't that cute? And it's got a pumpkin in the back. It's been stamped and colored. And then some of the pretty DSP on it. Very, very cute. And that one doesn't say who it came from. Gosh, what I'm going to show you next is this was my badge for on stage. It has my, my title on it. The fact that I'm a because I'm silver elite, I go to center stage, that I made the 160,000 flex points that I earned. This is all of these things are what got me into the global 100. And so I'm very, very excited about that. And that was my prize book troll number. But here is my badge that says global 100 for 2019. And there is my Maui pin. As I earned the trip to Maui. So uh, we were given that at on stage. So this was my badge for on stage. And this was uh, a little bag that my pin for the Global 100 came in. So that was given to me there. Then this beautiful handmade wooden box was given to me by Stampin' Up! And in here is was this beautiful, and I'll bring it out so you can see it, um, but I wanted to show the box because these were handmade boxes, which is just lovely. And there's a note with it from uh, Shelly and Sarah, signed by them, uh, congratulating us on the uh, Global 100. And then this was a gold necklace that was in there, and this says Stampin' Up! on it, and then this has a little flower on it. And so we were given this beautiful necklace and charm for in recognition of our Global 100. And that was very, very special. And it says Love from Shelly and Sarah on the inside. Congratulations on this. So very, very lovely. Very, very nice. The next thing I want to show you is this this was the backpack 
that everybody got who went to on stage and it's got pouches here in the front and a couple places different ones and can you tell this lovely floral scheme is the color of the new catalog which I'll show you the front up here in a minute but the backpack has some lovely pieces in it it's got this purple inside big pocket on this side and some smaller pockets on this side and it's a lovely uh, backpack that uh, we can use and often you see these at the next convention where people are taking some of the things that they brought like this would be wonderful to carry my um, swaps in to the next convention and use that way I could have them as my carry-on on the airplane without having to <laughs> check them and worry that they get there in one piece. Okay, so there's that, and I've showed you these things. So now let me show you a little bit about what's coming. So what I have here is the new catalog. So you see the theme of the poppies on that bag. And here it is, Handmade for You. And it's not called the Occasions Catalog anymore. It's called January to June Mini Catalog. And they changed the name, um, although it's going to work just the same. And I'm not allowed to share the inside with you, but you can see some interesting things on the cover here. Poppies are a huge theme, can you tell? And there's... You can see the die cutouts here and the stamps, and you can see a, a label here with something stamped in it. And this is the catalog for this year. And so um, that's what we have. And I can show you, I think, the front of the sale abrasion. And that one, uh, again, this is all starting in January. And for those of us that went on stage, we get the opportunity to order some material um, now. And then the rest of the demonstrators will have access to the new material in, um, on December 1st. And then it'll go live to the rest of the customers and, and everybody else in January. And so... These are some of the stamp sets that I received. This one was in our bag. It's called Timeless Tulips. Isn't that pretty? And this one comes with a punch. So you can punch out some of these elements. This one is called Breathtaking Bouquet. And you'll have to watch my blog in a couple days. It'll take me a little while to get everything up on the blog. But this was a fun story. One of the times that they gave something out, they gave um, the name that was called two stamp sets. And they were different stamp sets. And they could choose which one they kept, but they had to find somebody in the room that they did not know and give the second one away. And a lady was sitting a couple tables over from me, just the sweetest woman, and she took her second stamp set which was this one called breathtaking bouquet and she marched right over and handed it to me so i got her um uh gave her a great big hug and thanked her because this is just gorgeous oh my gosh it's beautiful and so i got all of her contact information and i got a picture with her so the picture will be up on the website along with the story and then i got all of her contact information because i'm going to make a very special card for her and make sure that she gets this um, and let's see if I have it here yes it's Jackie Rosemud R-O-S-E-M-O-D and she's in Mansfield Texas so I will be making a very special card and I'll share it with you all on YouTube and then put it in the mail to my new best friend in in Mansfield, Texas, Jackie. So that's the story behind that stamp set. Great fun to get that. This was another one that I received while I was there um, called Timeless Tropical. And it's got this beautiful hibiscus flower here. 
and this is very meaningful for me. I probably have uh, six red uh, bushes of this hibiscus, a hardy hibiscus that has to be in Colorado. But the flowers on that in the fall are as big as my hand, and they're all red. And I have probably 11 or 12 of these bushes around in my yard various places. But um, I love that one. This one is called My Meadow. And you'll be seeing me mess with these over the next couple of months as we get a little bit closer to when you can get things from the catalog. But this is another one of those like Waterfront and Snowfront that have scenes that you can make. There's a couple of really, really beautiful ones. And then this one, which um, we made a make and take, or some people made a make and take with this before we left. And one of the things that they do at the end of the day is they have you open up the material you use to do your make and takes and they pick somebody to start at the table and then you take the box and go around the table and everybody takes something out until everything is gone. And I got this beautiful stamp set that way. So I'm very pleased with my stamp sets that I got from on stage this time. And um, the other things we were given this time were these cute, and this is, this is representative of a stamp set that's in there, set of pins and uh, to trade pins with other people who were there. But I really liked the ones I got, so I just kept them. <laughs> and then this was the notebook. Uh, they always give us a notebook to write in while we were there. And it has some of these beautiful floral scenes on it there. And the only other thing that I got away with there was this. And it's, this is a sequin. You know me, I love sequins. This is Peaceful Poppy's Sequin Mix. So all of those beautiful colors that we saw uh, are in here, including gold. There's gold sequins in here, so I'm a very happy camper. So <clears throat> that is it. Uh, let me Oh, let me show you what we did for make and take. This was a set we were to make while we were there, and we just ran out of time. This one says, Life is Short, Buy the Shoes. <laughs> Just as cute as it can be. And this is going to be a three by three um, little set of cards and envelopes. And isn't that cute with the scallop there? And it's got kind of a purple posy uh, little wash on it there. And um, this is one. I, I ran out of time for making these and uh, just finally gave up. <clears throat> uh, but this is another one. It's got the perfume on it. And then it's got a little yellow wash. And that goes with this yellow polka dot uh, envelope. And then there's some color and some stamping on the inside of that. You see the purple polka dots on the inside of this one and stripes on the back, just as cute as it can be. And then this was the last one and it's done in petal pink. And it says, be as bold as your lipstick. And it's got a stamp of a lipstick and then another scalloped little envelope with pattern on it from the inside and the outside and then these cute little stripes on the inside. This was one of the make and takes that we did and that's what they were supposed to look like and we were to stamp some of these flowers on the envelope but I just ran out of time. This was one of the make and takes that I started anyway while I was down there. Um, this is one that I finished. <coughs> And this one has some of the poppies stamped on the background. And then some of that beautiful poppy paper. The papers, again, are gorgeous. This one has a happy birthday on it. And some white crinkled seam binding. So we've got some new products that we were able to look at while we were there. Then this was another one that I did get done using that beautiful tulip stamp set and the punch that's available. And it's a pretty simple design. A couple of these are raised on dimensionals. And this was the project we were to make. So I think that's pretty close. So I fell in love with that one. Then the last one, I didn't have any time left at all. So I'll just show you the elements. This is what we were to make. And then I managed to get that one stamp set, which is this. 
and you can see they stamped it in like a light gray on this designer series paper and backed it with a little bit of vellum and then put it on this card front and then um, punched out this sentiment and there is the stamp that we used uh, and then there was some coloring in with blends. This is one that, like I said, I didn't get a chance to get made while I was there. But that is pretty much all of it. So the things that I managed to bring back, the little gifts from Stampin' Up! and the, and the stamp sets, always a good thing to go to conventions because you just come away with so much stuff. It's so exciting. So let me put out some of my swaps and some of my 3D projects here. <clears throat> and thank you so much for joining me today. This is always one of my favorite videos to do um, as we have the opportunity to mix and mingle with some demonstrators and uh, get some ideas about their creativity. Uh, it's pretty amazing meeting people from the UK, um, getting things that are useful and some things that are just fun to go ahead and have as swaps and um, lots of lots of intriguing and different things and uh, so thanks again for joining me I do so appreciate it um, and if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator I'd love to be your demonstrator or you could join my team and we heard all about what the new join offer is going to be after the first of the year and it's going to be pretty spectacular. Uh, that's it for me today. I'll be back with more cards, more tips, and more projects and my prize draw for the month of November is the Christmas Rose stamp set and die set plus a package of paper. And so all you need to do to get yourself in my drawing is to put a an order of any size on my website lbevinger dot stampin' up dot net or you can go to my blog www.inkandingenuity dot com and you can get to my uh, my store that way as well. So thanks again and like I said, I'll be back soon with more projects. Bye.